Okay, hello everybody. I'm Dr. P. Patrick again. So now I'm going to uh, teach you how to use the financial calculators to find the answers of yield to maturity, the YTM. Uh, we are using the same example as the previous video. Uh, the bond is three years. Coupon rate is eight percent. Face value is one thousand. And then for the yield to maturity, assume that it is six percent. And then the coupon is paid annually. So what we have taught in the last video is that the bond price, when you are receiving eighty dollars annually uh, for three years' time, your bond price should be one thousand fifty-three point four six dollars. So now it is the reverse case. Suppose that the question is given you the bond price. 1053.46 and then the question is asking you to calculate backward so that is to calculate the yield to maturity how you can get back the 6% okay so now I cover it the 6% and then this is an unknown that you need to find in order to find the answers uh, there is no other method but you can actually use the financial calculators so that is shown on the screen here so first of all, we need to clear the previous data, second, and then cancel. At the next part, we input four data. The first one should be 80, so the order can be reversed. So 80 is the coupon payment, so this is 80 PMT. Three is the years, is the terms, so three and then an N. 1,000 is the face value, so we need to input 1000 and then FV. Finally, it's a difference because we are given $1053.46 for the bond value, but make sure that you need to press minus sign in front. So the minus sign is at the end of the second column on the right hand side. Okay, and then what we can see is um, so why we need to press the minus sign because uh, we are giving money to buy the bond. So that's why in the concept of finance, this should be the minus sign. And the next part, and also the last part, is we need to compute the yield to maturity. And that's why we need to press I stroke Y. And at last, you can get the answers to be 6%. six percent. Okay, but how about if you have some frequencies that is the difference? Say for example, you are given the coupon payment, so which is the semi annually. Okay, so in which case the uh, in one year you have received two times the coupon. So the data are the same. So three years terms, eight percent coupon rate, one thousand is a face value, and then for the six percent is the yield to maturity. But the difference is semi annual. Okay, so in the previous video. So what we have seen is that the bond price should be 1054.17. Okay, so what we have uh, changed is the coupon receipt is now $40 instead of 80. And then now uh, you have received six times the coupon payment. Okay, so now what I'm going to try to say is the same. Okay, the unknown is also the yield to maturity. Okay, so what we are going to do is use back the financial calculators and then uh, what we have to do is to input all the four data. So first of all, clear the data again, second, and then cancel. And then the next part, instead of input 80, we need to input 40 to be the PMT because we receive 40 per period. And then the next part, three, Three is a free yes, but each year we receive two times the coupon. So three times two. So which is equals to six. Uh, you can directly input six and then we actually press N. And the next part, 1000 is the FV. And also we need to input 1054.17 and then also the same minus sign to be the PV. Finally, we compute the I short Y, we will get the answers to be free. But make sure that uh, YTM is not the final answers to be free. Because this number from the calculators is the half year market interest rate. Because you have input 40, which is a half year coupon. And that's why the free here should be the half year market interest rate. 
yield to maturity is the annual interest rate. So that's why the final final answer is you need to multiply by two, which is six again. Okay, so now you get the same answers, six percent. Okay, so that finished the whole steps for the calculators usage for calculating the YTM.